Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Transheel 2200 from Fronius. So in this video, we're going to go over overview of this machine, what it can do, its output, and all the different features on this thing, and then we're going to compare it to other competitive welders out there on the market. So we'll just jump right in. Um, so if you're familiar with Fronius, uh, that's awesome. They make some awesome equipment. If you're brand new to Fronius and you're looking at an uh, all-around MIG, TIG, stick welder, well, this is an option for you. So. Um, the Transteel 2200 is a 230 amp welder. Um, it does 110, 220. As you can see here, we're plugged into 110. Um, it is a 100% duty cycle at 105 amps on, 100, on, on 110 volt. And then it, it's a, you can go 220 on this unit too. So, and it's going to range between 100% duty cycle depending on your amperage. Um, it's about a 60 amp duty cycle though at 160 amps on this unit and 230. So, Bit, uh, very nice machine, multi-voltage, it recognizes the voltage, so all you gotta do is change the plug, plug it in, and it goes. Uh, some of the features on this unit that I like to point out, so it is a synergic unit, so it's gonna tell you, you just set wire diameter, what wire you're running, gas, and you just choose the metal thickness right on the front of the screen, and it automatically gives you wire feed speed, voltage, and obviously amperage as well. So it's a very, intuitive machine you just set it and it's already going to give you a good parameter now you can adjust it from there go up and down or you can put it in manual mode and then obviously just run voltage and wire feed speed on this but it also stick welds and tig welds now one thing about this unit it will not ac tig weld only dc tig welding and it's only lift arc no high frequency on this unit so you got a scratch starter lift arc on your tig tig setup We'll link all the consumables down below because you can get a TIG kit for this thing. It will run a foot pedal. Um, and one thing to point out on the back of the machine, it has two solenoids, two gas solenoids. So we have our TIG solenoid and our MIG solenoid. So MIG gas, TIG gas, very nice. Has two solenoids set up for that. Um, on the front of the unit, so you can t see down here, what we got her set up for steel E7, ER70S6 wire. So you can toggle down through all those. So we can run steel, uh, stainless steel, and then we can also run a like a silicon bronze, and then we can run 5356, 4043, um, and we can run a flux core wire, metal core wire, and a self-shielded wire for this. So you can run all kinds of different wires on this unit. One of the better features on this thing, this thing will push aluminum without a spool gun through the regular big make torch that you get. Now you can also get a setup, and we'll link this all down below, but you can get a separate MIG gun to run aluminum as well, because if anybody knows about running aluminum, you gotta keep your liners separate from your steel liner because you get contamination. It's just a whole lot easier to have a separate rig set up for aluminum. But on the inside of the machine here, you can see we can fit a one or two pound spool for the aluminum wire or silicon bronze wire or whatever smaller flux core inner shield wire and then we also fit a 10 or 11 pound spool on here so they're not in, you can't take it out or you don't have to take up off the spindle to put on a smaller spool they just have two spool spindles in there right now um, it's pretty awesome they color code everything so all their drive rolls are color coded so you can see here we got 023 030 035 040 and then 045 so we got red on 045 blue on 035 and white on 030 so the, we're running a blue drive roll, so we're running 035 right now, and all their drive rolls, we'll link the kits for those as well down below, but they're all color coded. So the color code matches what the contact tip bag comes in, uh, what the liner bag comes in. So if you've got a blue drive roll, you're gonna get a bag with a blue sticker on the tip, and then on the liner, it's obviously gonna be a blue sticker on that liner box. So you can match all that up so you're not guessing is this the right liner? This is not the right liner. Um, what I like about this unit, it's all enclosed. Easy setup on the on everything as far as drive roll systems. You can change those wheels out. It's very easy to do. Uh, the biggest thing we get complaints about or questions is how come I can't open it? Well, you gotta almost, you gotta open it with two hands to get it open. So you just pull it aside and it unclicks. Uh, another question we often get on this unit, what's in here? So this is actually a fan motor. This, this fan inside there cools the internal components on the machine. 
I wouldn't worry about that until the fan goes bad. We haven't seen any come back for the bad fan, but it's just an easy access to get to that fan if it does go bad. Um, and on the back of the machine, I'll show you something here. So, easy on, off power button. And then another unique thing from Fronius is the quarter twist plug. So, you can see I just pulled back. It only goes in one way, and then you just you hear a click. Now you're good. You're hooked up to your power cord. This unit comes with four different power cords. So a 110, a 110 20 amp, a two, and then two 220 cords come with this as well. So multitude of different plugs you can run with this. Awesome little piece of equipment. Um, I know one of the you see a lot of these going to like the home hobby guys and in, in their garages because they want to stick weld. They want to TIG weld, and then obviously they want to MIG weld because this is a dedicated MIG machine, right? You know, we got the inner wire, we got everything going. Um, but you can run inner shield metal core, flux core, and then you can run, you know, aluminum bronze, silicon bronze, all your aluminum wires, pushing it through a gun. And we'll link my other video down below that we actually do that in. It's awesome. It runs great. Uh, really no problems with it as long as you keep, you know, your liners clean and you've got the right drive rolls with the right wire, you, everything should be flawless when that comes to that. Um, obviously we've got our polarity changing here, it's already linked to the machine, so we got our negative and our positive, so we're, if we're flipping from inner shield wire to flux core wire, right, we would flip that. If we're doing TIG welding, we would flip that. Now one thing I want to tell you on the stick welding side of this thing, it will not run 6010. So if you're wanting a machine that runs 6010, a multi-process machine that runs 6010. Seems to be so much so popular these days that people want to run 6010 on these multi-process machines and I mean that is great, but this won't run it. So don't think that you're going to get this and run 6010. It will not do it. Um, you can run 6011, 6013, it just will not run 6010. But it will run 7018 and all your other 7024, that sort of thing. So one thing I wanted to show you guys on the MIG gun, um, very nice ergonomic, it's got a ball rotation there, so you got a little bit of a swivel down there. It's got an extended trigger switch, so you can hit it with middle finger, front finger there. Very nice quick twist consumables to come off. There's your nozzle, tip, diffuser, we'll link all that stuff down below. Their tips, like I said, the bags are color coded, but they're all printed on the side of what size they are. Just remember, it's in a, it's in millimeters, so if you've got 035, you're going to be a 0.9 tip. It's kind of a correlation because these are made in Austria, um, so they do use that system over there. But all in all, very easy gun to set up. Um, the liners are very easy to change out, if you can see this here. So this, this comes out, and actually this is a consumable, but that goes on there. So they sell liner in bulk. So you can just buy bulk liner, and then this is actually, you can re, you don't have to, it's really not a consumable, but you can buy extra ones. Um, but that goes, that threads on your liner, and then it's just a, you push it down in, and you actually feed this, this gun, oh, my ring messed up. You feed this liner through the front end of the gun, and then you cut it back here on the back end of the gun, because what it does is it makes it easier to, uh, change that out if you go through the front instead of going through the back. Sometimes you get the wrong length if you go through the back and uh, people, they cut them wrong. So just to be aware, I got a video out there on that as well. Um, so look at that when you get it time. And then, but all in all, great little machine. The thing runs really well. I'll link the other videos where we run this. Um, and it has a very good duty cycle. We see a lot of guys, home hobby, garage, even fabrication light repair guys they buy this because they'll plug it into their engine drive and run it off their engine drive if they need inner shield flux core wire or they want to run a dual shield flux core wire they don't have a suitcase but they have an engine drive we well, can run it on 110 it's awesome for that now in comparison this video does compare to the Miller 215 multiprocess and the Lincoln 215 MP multiprocess so it compares to those Price is roughly the same in the same ballpark, um, but check it out. We'll link everything down below. But as far as duty cycle, uh, output-wise, uh, they all are very comparable. 
Uh, this is a synergic line too, so you just it's going to compare to the other two uh, with their their systems as as far as uh, set and metal size, wire size, gas, and then it just gives you automatic wire feed speed and output power voltage. So it's it's very comparable, and we'll link all those down below so you can check check that out. If you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.